Hello. Hello, everybody. Happy Sunday. Happy Sunday before Labor Day. We'll see if anybody at all shows up. Hello, Fern. Nice to see you. I am so happy to see you. And how are you today? It is Sunday and the sun is out and the skies are clear and the weather is gorgeous. It is just the perfect Sunday, um, you know, kind of last official Sunday of summer. And um, I am just delighted to be here. I um, am not unaware that Deb is doing an impromptu. Uh, I didn't know anything about it. I would have coordinated with him otherwise. Um, but he and I will have that conversation later. Anyway, I hope that everybody is wonderful. And, um, uh, and I'm here. It's Sunday and I'm here. Hello, Melinda. Lovely to see you and to the other people who are here. Hello, Shara. Lovely to see you all the way from New Zealand. I know it is very early in the morning there. Thank you so much for being here, though I suspect you were probably up and about anyway um, with a new baby, a new grandbaby. And um, Shara, I really loved your... Uh, live stream from Ashburton Park, um, uh, or a Ashburton, I don't remember what it was called, uh, uh, Reserve or uh, something like that. <laughs> anyway, they were out there with the kids and it was uh, just lovely to see everybody in the park. Um, today, I'm just gonna jump right in. Uh, and uh, well, first off, let me show you that there is a new of this coming where I did all of this up here, and this is the color along. <coughs> and um, so uh, the butterflies and there's both butterflies are done and that kind of thing. So I did record this yesterday, but I didn't have time to actually edit it. And that's it, domain, the, the Ashburton domain. I think that is such a cool name for a park. Um, and so this is coming. And I thought today, because the bird series has been fairly popular as far as watch time. So I thought that I would add to it. These of course are the ones that I have already done. And uh, these are in my book, Flowers and Flyers. And I only have two left. Uh, the Painted Bunting, which is this one, and the uh, Cardinal Pair. Hello, Roxine. Thank you so much for being here. I um, uh, just thank you for being here. And thank you, Fern. I really love the birds, too. This, <coughs> excuse me, sorry, is the only one that I haven't done because I just don't think that I can do it justice to what my friend Sue did. And of course I didn't put it on the cover, silly me, but it's featured somewhat prom prominently in the video. Um, my friend Sue Curry colored this at Christmas time and just did an amazing job and it actually intimidated me because <laughs> I knew I could never do it as well as she did. So I've been staying away from that one. Uh, but I do know about the Painted Bunting. And for those of you who have never seen a Painted Bunting, let me show you, oops, sorry about that. Um, let me show you a very cool picture 
Oh, come on. There it is. Okay. So this is a painted bunting. And that is what it looks like. As you can see, it is a very, very colorful bird and very, very cool. So um, that is what I am going to try to do. I do have a photo reference that I am going to work from, uh, just like I have had a photo reference on all of my other birds uh, to be able to color it. And I have pulled up a different, uh, a different one on my computer. But that is the look that we are going for. Now, this could also be what's called an indigo bunting, which is technically a blue bird. Um, you know, it's indigo blues. But I'm going to do it with ink tins. And thank you. And hi, Libby. And hi, Cindy. And hi to all the people who are here. And thank you again for the thumbs up. And I appreciate those. And um, yeah. So I apologize, guys. I'm a little keyed up about something. And I'll, I'll calm down here in just a second. Um, hello, Susan. How are you? Mama Wilkes. Mommy Wilkes, <laughs> I think. <coughs> Beautiful job, by the way on all of the pictures that you did, I think you did two, in um, Jewelry Box. And for all of the work that you've been doing in my books and all that posting, thank you so very, very much. I really appreciate that, you have no idea. And hello, Corolla, and oh, I'm just so excited. I'm excited to be here and um, happy to do it. Uh, okay, now I need to pull up my reference, which is going to take up a little portion of my screen. Hang on one second. Uh, you won't be able to see it, but I will. And um, I just have it sort of tucked up in the corner. And now let me bring my YouTube screen back. And now bring the picture up on top of it so that I can still see the chat. Okay. All right. So off to my swatch book for uh, the right shade, a sapphire blue. And I kind of think that the bright blue is as close to it as I'm going to get for the start although I could go with the deep blue. So eight, let's go with the deep blue, which is the 850 pencil. And here is this one. So I know that his head is gonna be the deep blue. And so I'm going to, I wanna, you know, make sure that I've got my, keep my light. Excuse me. And so we'll go with that. How is everybody, by the way? Are you having a good weekend? It's, I, here in the United States, it is Labor Day weekend. And uh, that is the official end of summer. And it used to be when I was a kid, and before they had things like um, year-round school and all of that, um, this was this was the the big, you know, the the big trip. The you know you did if you had a little bit of last-minute vacation planned, this is when you did it. And. Then, of course, for every, there was always a picnic tomorrow. Hello, Louise. Lovely Louise. It's so nice to see you. Thank you so much for being here. 
And um, okay, and I, I just I really just jumped right in, didn't I? All right, I'm, what I'm trying to do is get enough pigment down so that it'll spread. Because I want to leave this area in here light because he's facing the light. So let me see um, the next color and we'll see where we can go from there. Now, the, the bunting is kind of a hot red with a, a scarlet uh, pink. It's like hot red on the outside. So let me go with the 410. And the scarlet pink, to find it. Ah, of course I can't find it. That would be too easy. Although it's got no place to go, so it's got to be here. There it is. Unless, unless it has joined my glasses. Hello, Katie. Lovely to see you. Wait a second. Wait a second. Um, all right. Uh, wait. Ah, hang on. I need to make that smaller again. Okay. Wait a second. So I can read this. It's very early here, so you won't be chatting. Uh, that's okay. And Shara, if you're splitting your attention between Deb and me, please feel free to do so. I mean, I'm not, I'm not at this point in time. I don't really care. <laughs> uh, I, you know, it's a, um, never mind. I'll shut up now. Um, so this is the scarlet pink, and I'm gonna go here. with the scarlet pink in the center of his chest. But then I am going to bring the darker color around the edge, around the edges. So this, the scarlet should preserve the light a little bit. And I wanna make it so that his chest comes up in a bit of a V. It isn't so much that the, the painted buntings um, just, it's actually, when you look at pictures of them, it seems to start here under their chin, but it doesn't really. And so this And I am going ahead and leaving those white spots just because I want the red to come through. Hello, everybody that's here. Thank you so much for being here. I'm my, uh, I can feel my blood pressure starting to come down. Coloring does that. I also down in the, in the description, I put, um, I just needed some brain food today. So I list, started listening to some TED Talks and I love TED Talks. Do you guys ever listen to TED Talks? Katie, I'll bet you do. Um, but uh, uh, I love TED Talks. They just, they're, they're full of wonderful ideas and, um, like I had, I really had no clear understanding of, uh, you know, a couple of things that they were discussing uh, around Brexit. And so I, I got an idea about that. And uh, then I, you know, listened to another one that was talking about animals and um, how they grieve their young. And it's just, to me, a TED Talk is, 
it's like food for the brain. And uh, and yeah, Melinda, I suspect you did too. I just did. <laughs> and um, and sometimes you just, especially in the uh, kind of news cycles that we have, and the um, you know. I know I'm probably old and curmudgeonly, but the, uh, you know, it's sort of the what what passes for entertainment these days, um, <laughs> is not always my first choice of things to watch. I'm going to go with the apple green, uh, and so having a TED talk to um, watch is uh, kind of cool. All right, I'm going to go with the apple green. Now, th th these birds are so colorful that it's not to really be believed. I'm gonna um, start with the apple green kind of around the edges here and here, kind of up around here. But then I'm gonna switch to a yellow. Um, and once again, I mean, it is a re it's a real bird in nature and that is why Oops, that's why it's called a painted bunting because it actually looks like that. You know, they're they're really there's an there's another good one. Um, oops, go with that one and bring that up. They are just that colorful, you know, with all those super cool colors. So I'm gonna go with a sun yellow or maybe even a sherbet lemon, which is this lightest shade out here for in here. And I am going to go right over these squares. Uh, those are gonna get darker colored later. So I'll work that in. And then maybe the green a little further down and then I need to switch to a darker green. And of course, the magic here is going to happen when the um, when you activate the ink tents. Um, I am loving coloring this. All right, this he's got like a um, he's got like blue greens. Let's see if I can pick a better picture. Um, there's a better one. Is that the same one? Probably. Ah. How do you go back? Like that? Okay. So there's one. So you can see how his feathers, you know, he's got greens and then fades down into reds along the sides. So we'll pick a nice, maybe mallard green. Um, maybe a field green. How about a field green? There's the field green, which is 1,500. Uh, technology, entertainment, yes. And, um, and there's a, what's, it's actually, I put a link uh, in the description below, Melinda, if you want to pull that up. It, um, or Katie, it, it's, it's what's called the TED Director. And basically what it does is it um, kind of scours all the TED Talks and puts them all together in one place. And it's called, you know, from the TED website. So it is very cool. And right now, the channel trailer is the one to watch um, because it is just amazing. I did not realize the role that um, false Facebook advertising had played in, uh, I mean, I've heard it, but, you know, I thought, oh, yeah, well, people are smarter than that. Um, and then I realized 
that that is true. People are smart, but when we stop paying attention, uh, we allow for the rise of authoritarianism in our world. And, you know, that's a huge, gigantic, uh, and, and to my mind, seriously frightening issue. Um, but it's, you know, it, it's easily preventable with just a little knowledge. So now I want to pick a different green. Uh, I want the Ionian green, I think, which is really a dark green. Yeah, this one uh, for these feathers down here, for the very ends of these feathers so that they go. Um, but, you know, once again, those are big issues and probably not great for a Sunday stream. Um, there you go. And... Uh, and but the 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 trailer talk had to do with um, with Facebook's role in in the way that the Brexit vote went when an investigative reporter went to the place that was that had the highest vote to get out of the EU and found an entire city built by the EU. And when she started to, you know, ask questions about that, it was then that, you know, people started to preferring to all of this stuff that they had seen, which, of course, all sort of proved to be untrue. Um, but that nonetheless it affected that, that particular vote. And that has, you know, that sort of plays into everything, really, uh, not only politics, but, I mean, all the way down to, um, you know, all the way down to any situation where you have people who are gathered in one place. And um, so anyway, it's <laughs> like I say, it's probably not a great conversation for, uh, for YouTube today, but uh, I, I highly recommend that everybody should watch TED Talks. Um, I went with the Shiraz, which is the wine color, uh, which seems like maybe an odd choice for my colorful bird, but of course I have to find it. But I want this is the color that I want down here on these lower leaves. Because this is where he starts to get a little darker red. And I want to be able to pull that up into this area. See, I'm going at it very, very lightly, just putting a tiny bit of this pigment down here. And then down here, it kind of gets boring uh, because he goes into browns, which is another reason why I wanted to have some of this pretty Shiraz red in there because I am going to uh, put in some browns. And hi, Tamara. Nice to see you. And Tamara, I have just really been enjoying watching your uh, your uh, cosplay photos go up. I hope you had a good time. Uh, bet you didn't know I knew that about you, huh? <laughs> See, I pay attention. And I'm going to add some brown. So I'm also going to add back in a little bit of the, whoops, the scarlet pink believe it or not, to go with that Shiraz just coming out of here. And hints of color. And now I'm going to go with the matter brown because that is a nice reddish brown. So 1920 is this color. And we're going to add that in 
down here. Oh, the moment of truth. How did I do? I don't know. We'll have to find out. I'm just wetting down the inside. Whoops. I heard you, Melinda. as she concentrates and goes silent on you. Ah. I did not get my, um, I, didn't, I didn't put my thing with the, uh, with the paper towel out on it. I'm trying to work that edge, but not um, fast enough to be able to get the ink to move, but not uh, bring it so dark into that center. Okay. Happy with that. Let me grab my plate. There it is. All right. Tamara asked a question. Um, what? Oh. Uh, no, I thought that it was pictures. Uh, I thought it was you. Um, didn't you do, didn't you attend, uh, I'm assuming, I thought that was you, Tamara, that attended some sort of a, um, uh, function or a convention or something like that that involved, I, well, I, maybe, I, uh, <laughs> now I, now I'm going to be embarrassed. Uh, it looked like you were wearing uh, a, a cosplay outfit of some kind. There was one where it was, looked like a military uniform, and you had a, I thought it was a sword. Was it not you? Was it somebody else? And I haven't seen your videos, but I will watch them. And I think it was on Facebook. I, or it might have been on Instagram. Might have been on IG. Oh, I like this. I am liking this. I'm going to save the chest for last. Well, maybe it's not you, or maybe it is somebody somebody that I'm following that has the same name. Maybe it's a different Tamara Farley. Okay. Oh, I like it. What do you think? Oh, cool. I love Game of Thrones. I, of course, I, I love the books. I haven't seen I haven't seen the TV show. One of these days I will. Um, but uh, I will uh, if they bring them to, I want to say Netflix, although I don't really have Netflix, but I'd so I'd, I've always, you know, I always thought, well, I should sign up to Netflix for a couple of months when I, you know, at a time when I've got extra cash uh, and and watch all the shows 
that I want to watch, but I really want to watch The Handmaid's Tale. And I don't think that it is on Netflix, which is why I haven't done it. Okay, so that is our painted bunting. Um, just like that, I love the way, I love the way that this stuff works. All right, now I need to look at how, how what color are their beaks? I wanna say their beaks are gray. Um, and they are. Okay, so the beak is kind of grayish looking. Uh, and I want to do that in a neutral gray. Oh, look at that. Oh, I know why. Because I, um, I used that for... Uh, for a background. That's why it looks like that. Okay, now I'm just going to go in very lightly in there. And then I'm going to just, that's hardly any pigment at all. And I'm going to wet all of that. And then just use that little bit of pigment to pull it out. so that it just barely colors the beak. And hopefully when that dries, it will be lighter. Okay, so now a nice spring green. <clears throat> you did not just hear my stomach growl. No, you did not. <laughs> uh, let's see. And you saw the first season and you were lost. Okay. I, you know, I have the book, <coughs> excuse me, but I'm not certain that I've ever actually read it. So this is the spring green, and I'm just going to go down the center <coughs> with the color. And I was going to make these more like wheat stalks. And I may do that by just bringing in a little bit of the amber along the actual outer edges. Uh, thank you, Shara. Thank you. Yeah, I'm, 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 uh, my, my blood pressure is coming down. <laughs> Which is always, that is the thing that coloring does. Art does that for me. And, uh, you know, when you can just find a little bit of time in your day to make something pretty and, uh, You know, I did eat. I ate, but I ate a donut. And so that is probably why my stomach is going, uh, hello. We want something a little more substantial than a donut. <laughs> but donuts are so good. Do I need to zoom down? Or 
is, um, uh, hello, night guy. Hello, Caroline. Um, and uh, I'm just trying to read the chat a little bit. Paris. Oh, Paris. And, uh, okay, born, I read the book. Um, I see, I just love to read the books. I really do. Um, I have to find my copy of The Handmaid's Tale. I did find that it was very difficult to get into at first because uh, I, I do remember that. But then, of course, the, the show just became so wildly popular. And about the only thing I know about it is, is that women are forced to to you know have babies they don't want <laughs> about the only the only thing that i can think of and they're treated like slaves like second class citizens maybe it was the theme that i objected to at the time but then my you know my favorite book in the world is atlas shrugged and i could not i've i've read it at least once every two years for the last 40 years. Yeah, since I was about 20. Um, and now I'm just adding a little bit of green along this branch. But this is actually a twig. And so I, I want it to be more wood. Woody looking. But I also am going to make it um, brown. So I think I'm going to make that saddle brown or maybe even, well, you know what? Maybe I'm going to stick with the amber and then we'll shade it with the darker. So we'll go with the amber. And I'll just go along the outside edges. of this and then have it uh, be lighter up there on top. Make that one a bit narrower. I know we'll have to, we're going to experiment with it and see. We're totally subjugated, no rights at all. And yeah, in the 80s, it was bloody hard to take. But the, you know, and that I think is what that I think is what, yeah, it made me uncomfortable. And I think that you're right, Katie, because that is about the time that I would have tried to read it when it was new, because I got it as a, to cancel that membership. But gosh, books are so expensive, you know, and Barnes and Noble came along and, you know, started, started selling, you know, books that you could get for four ninety five as long as you didn't want to read anything that, had just come out, uh, and I was cool with that. <laughs> I don't have to have it brand new. I can, uh, I, you know, I can certainly wait until it's a couple of years old. Although the one exception that I made to that is I did read um, Cold Mountain, but I read my sister's copy, and I also read the Dan Brown books. Um, uh, you know, the Da Vinci Code and the the other one, uh, Angels and Demons. I read those were both my sister's copies as well. Uh, actually, one was my nephew's copy. So now I'm just sort of adding a little color along these branches as well. And then I'll add a little bit of green just to give the idea that it's live wood. Wrong pen. Yeah, I, oh, hi, Charlotte. Nice to see you. And thank you to everybody who is here. Wow, thank you for all the thumbs up as well as people are dropping in. That is so kind of you. And I 
I like the way that works. Okay. I'm going to do uh, probably a, um, a yellowish fade to blue up uh, for the background on this, you know, so that it looks like daylight. Although I could probably do some uh, blue kind of cloudy things. Maybe we'll use the, um, the Grapitense for that, the Derwent Grapitense to make a uh, kind of a cool cloudy effect, maybe a lavender lavenders and blues also i will uh, let me ask the opinion of the folks here and see if anybody has one what do you think if i do when i get around to doing this what do you think if i do a blue background like a sky blue um almost a turquoisey blue background on this just a very simple background and let me know i'm thinking that the turquoise would set off every single color tamra that is a color along series that i'm doing here on youtube and the drawing that i'm using is a free sample page from my book 40 fan favorites so um which is my newest release But Tamara, I think you have, I mean, I'm pretty sure you have, you have the majority of my books now, don't you? Thank you, uh, uh, Melinda. I thought it would be good too. Um, and yeah, and so uh, Tamara, where to get it is if you just look at my playlist, uh, the video that I posted, I posted one uh, last week week or earlier this week I think earlier this week I posted one that was part two of it it might have been last week <laughs> I'm so confused I know I did an impromptu live uh, and I also put it I put the uh, I put it in there as well all right now I want to do these little guys in the browns and I just colored the outside and I'm just fading it down into the center. And then coloring the green stock. So that way it looks more like, um, more like, uh, Wheat. There we go. Oh, that's better. Oh, shush. Shush, stomach. I'm going to see if I can't blend just a tad of that out. I think that I may have, I may have to add just a little color to that because I don't like the fact that that's looking so outliney. I'll work on the fade on that. Move the swatch book up and move the pencils up so I can move the book a little. And I'm just pulling the color in out off the edges there and now to the stem next because that's a good angle to do it and work that down yeah i'm kind of liking that painted bunting this this uh, series has really 
lent itself well to the ink tents. Although you could do it with anything. You could do it with markers or... <laughs> you will actually see this on the... Um, you will see this on the, the when I post the part uh, three of the color along. Uh, but you remember that drawing that I started on the impromptu? Well, you won't believe it, but I I messed it up. I met I took it to a place where I didn't want to color on it anymore, and so I have started it over again. because I tried to experiment with it. <laughs> and I'll show it to you here in a second. But it turned out so, it turned out not, not so bueno. Pretty bad. Oh, hello, Robin. Are you, is Robin? Robin here, been admiring them. Uh, um, oh. Sheldon, I know who that is. The uh, okay, there we go. And now we need some little legs for uh, our bird. And birds have what color legs? Let's find out. I bet you they're dark. They're um, like gray. Come back to more pictures. Yep. Yeah. See, they're they're like grayish. Grayish or dark grayish. So you could do them in light gray, and then um, and then. Shade them with like a charcoal. I've got the light gray out, obviously, somewhere. Neutral gray. So we'll just do that. Do a little dark gray around the outer edges. Then we're going to go dark gray here. Okay. Details, details. Little footsies. So he's sort of sitting on his sitting on his little foot there. Okay, hopefully that'll dry a little lighter than that. Not bad. <laughs> I love ink tents, and this is why I love it. I love ink tents. It's just got that that such a satisfying um, depth of color coming right out of the pencil, <clears throat> you know, not a lot of fuss. It is certainly not, a, you know, it's not, it's not full of beautiful, subtle things like, like Sammy can do. Um, but it is definitely a lot of bang for the buck. And wow, I love it. Uh, perfect.